I need a little bit left for Amen. For we're preaching. Praise God. And uh, hallelujah. We're the only people on Monday mornings that sound like we have colds. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody says, You got a cold? You say, No. But I've been to a one God. After Salt Church. And there are people shouting around me. I want to make sure God hurt me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. 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 Somebody just, hallelujah. Glad that God has put you in the picture of the people. Amen. That their praise sounds like mighty thunderings in heaven. Come on. How many have ever read that revelation? Come on. That's my book. That's your book. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise God. And uh, I think I think we're all going to be amazed. Amen. When we get a brand new body, it's going to be able to shout for a long, long time. And I think it's going to have a little bit more amperage and volume than the human voice. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't, don't get stuck in this little box thinking, oh, I'm going to be just like, amen. amen. We're going to be like him. Amen. 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 But we know that when he shall of it, we are going to be instantly like him. That's exciting. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Want to help uh, somebody tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. I believe the Lord wants to speak to us here. Hallelujah. I have, I have a, a simple message, but hallelujah. Something that is, that is probably the most important thing. Hallelujah. Uh, that can happen. Amen. Truly to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. If you'll turn with me tonight. Amen. I want to walk. I want to turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter number 25. Book of Isaiah, chapter 25. And I don't have this written down, so bear with me. Amen. The Lord started putting this on my heart tonight. Amen. And I felt God. Amen. Very strongly. This. Hallelujah. Amen. This is all good. Hallelujah. Amen. I only believe God wants to make you strong in Him. Amen. The power of His mind. Come on, church. Amen. amen. How many believe that? You just said amen. 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 What do you want to say here? Hallelujah. Verse number three. Therefore shall the strong people glorify you. You know who's going to worship God? People that are strong in the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. People that have retained, amen, their victory. And the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. The strong people are going to glorify thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor. A strength to the needy in his distress. A refuge from the storm. A shadow from the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones is a storm against the wall. Amen. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers. As the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in this mountain, everybody say, and in this mountain. And in this mountain. Shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things. A feast of wines on the leaves, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the leaves, well refined. Amen. In God's mountain, He's going to offer, hallelujah, amen, some eternal wine. Wine will affect your behavior. Amen. Do I have anybody who wants to be a spiritual wine owner? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over 
all nations. In this mountain, he's going to remove the veil. Hang on to that. And he will swallow up death in victory. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all, all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. For the mouth or the Lord hath spoken it. Amen. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But in this mountain, God's going to strengthen people. In this mountain, He's going to strengthen the poor. He's going to strengthen the needy. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And He is going to destroy the veil. Hallelujah. That is cast over all people in this mountain. You got to be, you got to be in the right place. Hallelujah. To see, Amen. This happen. Hallelujah. Turning with me, if you will. Amen. One more in Isaiah. And then I'm, gonna, I'm trying to condense this here. But I need to bring this to you so you understand it. Hallelujah. Isaiah 45, one verse here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 45 and verse number 15. Amen. States this. Amen. Verily or truly. If I say truly. Thou art a God that hidest thyself. O God of Israel, the Savior. If I say he is a God that hides himself. Amen. All right. Are you with me? Amen. Matthew chapter number 11. Amen. Matthew chapter number 11. Hallelujah. And we are going to look. Hallelujah. Amen. In this passage, chapter number 11 and verse number 20. Amen. Hallelujah. By shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pardon me while I turn. And usually I have these. These just came to me. Praise God. So, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God does that. He, he gives it to me like this so I don't have time to mess it up. All right. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Just go ahead and smile. Isaiah, amen, stated something, and this coincides with this. Matthew 11, verse 20. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Notice this, what he says. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his, if I say his, mighty works were done because they repented not. Amen. Hallelujah. And he goes through a list of cities, and in verse 23, he said, Amen. If the mighty works had been done in thee, had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. Amen. 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 But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. He's speaking of Jerusalem. Verse 25. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid, everybody say hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Jesus says, all things are delivered unto me of my Father and no man knoweth the Son. Amen. Nobody knows who Jesus is until he destroys that veil. Amen. Praise God. But the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, or only the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. One translation says, Amen, will take away the veil from him. Amen. Verse 28, Jesus states, Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. 
for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your soul. If you humble yourself, hallelujah, amen, and realize, amen, I'm not strong enough, hallelujah, without the Lord. I need the strength of Israel. Amen. I need strength, hallelujah, that comes from God alone. Amen. His yoke is easy. Amen. And his burden is light. Why? Because when, hallelujah, he comes inside you, you're not alone. And you're not carrying that burden alone. Hallelujah. The Almighty, hallelujah. Well, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And in these verses of Scripture here, Amen. Hallelujah. And and I want to preach here tonight, but I want I want everyone to understand that this is, I believe, the most powerful uh, thing that can happen to any one of us. And that is when God reveals who He really is. When Jesus reveals to you that He is God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That, that is the highest revelation. You don't have to agree with me, but uh, if you did, you'd be right. Amen. God's highest revelation because, amen, in one place it says they will be ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. I mean, I've never met people that they're constantly because, amen, hallelujah, you don't get found until God comes looking for you. Because God hides himself. And no man knows who Jesus is until he reveals himself to you. Amen. And if you have the revelation of who Jesus is, you are the most blessed individual on planet earth. Because, hallelujah, through that, hallelujah, amen, comes, hallelujah, the greatest blessing and the greatest revelation of the truths, amen, of salvation. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's only one God. And that's what, amen, this message started out with. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach about one God. And His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Simple message. But we're in the one God church. I said we're in the one God church. And Jesus said, except you believe I am He, you shall die in You've got to have this revelation or you will die in But if you get this revelation, you'll overcome sin. You'll defeat sin by this one that will come and walk in you and share this victory with you. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. And let's lift our voice together one more time. Father, we thank you, Jesus, for your word tonight. We're asking God, hallelujah. God, that you open the eyes and you give revelation to whom, hallelujah, you deem, hallelujah, hallelujah. You have hid these things from the wise and the prudent, but you have revealed them on the base. We're asking, Lord Jesus Christ, that you touch those that desire it. Touch those, Lord God, hallelujah, amen, that need this, hallelujah, to happen to their eyes so that they can better serve you. Hallelujah, that their eyes can truly be open. For your glory, amen, we do pray tonight. I'm asking a special anointing upon my soul tonight to deliver this message. And I will give you the praise for it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, hallelujah. There's only one God. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you this evening. Amen. And you may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the Gospel of John, amen, we read that the Jews, hallelujah, had cornered God. Amen. And in their own way, amen, in one place they had sent people to take him. Amen. Hallelujah. And the people that were sent came back and said, Never a man spake like this man. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not just an ordinary man. Hallelujah. Praise God. But in the Gospel of John, hallelujah, we read in the 24th verse, amen, that the Jews, amen, came around Jesus. Hallelujah. And they circled him. And this is what the inference of this 24th verse tells us. And they said to him, How long? 
dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got to remember that God wasn't telling everybody that he was the Messiah. Only to, amen, to whom he would reveal it personally. Praise God. I want to tell you that Jesus is the Christ. But what you need to happen in your life is a personal visitation. I don't want you like Paul had. I don't want you to say, Lord, who art thou? And the Lord says, I am Jesus. You need a personal Every teenager needs a personal, every body that's got the Holy Ghost needs a personal revealing of Jesus and the power of who he is. Hallelujah. Not everybody that says they know who Jesus is really knows who Jesus is. Amen. Praise God. And so, hallelujah, they, amen, had seen miracles. They had seen, amen, uh, much take place by the time of this writing, amen. But uh, he didn't come out and tell them plainly because he is a God that hides himself. And to whom he will, he will pull back the veil and show who he really is. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, I told you and you believe God. He said, the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Praise God. Who else can open the blind eyes? Who else can raise the dead? Who else can speak the word? Come on. Who else can turn water? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And speak for it and make it rush. Come on, somebody. Our Jesus can. Jesus was sending clues to everybody who he was. Hallelujah. When he said, take up your bed and walk. Amen. What other man can come to another man? Hallelujah. And say, take up your bed and walk. And immediately, strength. I'm telling you who can. The one that Israel prophesied. Hallelujah. Over. Amen. The strength to the poor. The strength to the needy. He said, in this mountain, he said, that veil is going to be destroyed. Amen. And this, uh, hallelujah, is the place for that to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. But he said, but you believe not because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep, hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man put them out of my hand. Let me tell you, it's good to be in the hands of Jesus. Jesus was talking about, hallelujah, how good it was to be in his hand. You know what he was talking about? The very hand of God. Hallelujah. God, this whole church is in God's hand. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, he that touches us, touches the apple. Amen. Of God's eye. Hallelujah. It's just not going to happen. Hallelujah. Without God doing it. Amen. And he said, my father which gave to me is greater than me. He's talking about his flesh. Hallelujah. He's always trying to hide himself from people. Hallelujah. That really don't love him. That's right. But somebody that truly loves him, he's going to show who he really is. Amen. I want to just get ahead of myself and tell you the greatest thing that ever happened to planet Earth is when an angel came down and said, Hallelujah, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Hallelujah. His name is going to be called Emmanuel, which is God with us. He didn't reveal that to everybody, but he's revealed it unto us. And if that's not something that you need to shout about, you need to get a revelation. And that nothing, hallelujah, is more powerful than knowing the depth of revelation of who Jesus is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he just kept, kept laying it on. And he finally looked at them and he said, I and my father. He said, all right, I'm going to make it play. Amen. And they loved him so much for that that they said, we're going to kill you now. All right. Come on. Come on. You should love a preacher when he preaches to give you the truth. It's breaking your
I remember seeing that, that picture of that man out there outside of the lunar capsule. And he's out there floating. He's been drinking orange tang. Amen. Eating these weird meals and these squeeze. Come on. Because you got to eat different when you're that high. That's good. Come on. That's good. Come on. Your plate has a way of and things on the plate. Come on now. Amen. Come on. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. Hallelujah. I remember this picture of the, amen. And seeing this cord, amen, connected to that suit. How many have ever seen that picture? That's a lifeline. Right. Come on now. And that guy is out there, and his whole existence, amen, is linked to that. Little lifeline right there. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Because if oxygen doesn't get to that man, he's lost. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. If something comes there and keeps that, or something comes through there, amen, and severs that line, hallelujah. he just he becomes a one great star. Come on. Right. Yeah. He becomes something that you can't reach out to. Come on, somebody. Right. Hallelujah. I want you to know we need to understand how frail we really are. Amen. Amen. And how great our God is. I said how great our God is. They balance one another. We need God more than we ever Hallelujah. fully understand. We need God tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. And he blew their minds when he said, I and my father are one. And the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Amen. I want you to understand this, church. Amen. To the Jews, Messiah was God come in the flesh. Amen. To the Jews, when you said Messiah, just like the lady at the well, when Messiah is come, he's going to tell us all these things. And Jesus said, I that speaketh unto thee, and he, he was one of the women that God revealed himself to. Amen. And that's why she went to her city. And she says, you need to come here, a man that told me all that ever I did. Can I tell you something? Hallelujah. Amen. God is the giver of rest. He's the giver of living. Come on. When people get the Holy Ghost, Jesus gave it to them. When you get baptized in Jesus Christ, then it's not just a one God preacher in this tent. Jesus himself is in there. Hallelujah. And he knows what the preacher can do for you. Hallelujah. He circumcises the heart. He takes the scales from the eyes. Praise God. And me. Amen. We're picking up rocks to stone him. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? Amen. And the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not. Amen. Amen. But they said, Hallelujah. But for blasphemy, and because of thou being a man, makest thyself God. They said hallelujah. In other words, uh, amen. The highest revelation of God is God coming in the flesh. That's what they were saying. Hallelujah. For all of these works, we're not going to stone you. But when you say that you are that God coming the flesh, I'm here to tell you that Jesus uh, is God manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. He was the word made flesh to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Come here. That's why, hallelujah, Thomas could thrust his hand in the side of Jesus and say, my Lord and my God. And Jesus can return and say, and then blessed art thou, Thomas, because thou hast seen and believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Because when you believe this, then you'll start seeing this. I said, when you start believing the preacher, you're going to start seeing. Hallelujah, Jesus, as he really is. Amen. Trinitarians don't like this kind of preaching. Jews didn't like, and then but Jesus was sick. You know, Jesus was in this world 
physically today. Hallelujah. Amen. People would not accept him anymore. Hallelujah. Today is over because they want a different kind of Jesus. I don't want a Jesus that can open the blind eyes. I don't want a Jesus that can save me from us. We need a Jesus that came to save. Come on. Anybody, hallelujah. Thank God that there is a Savior. When he comes, he'll save you. I went to church and thought I knew Jesus. But I wasn't saved from any of my sins. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on, Yes, sir. Come on, man. Matter of fact, I took my dope with me to church. Come on. Yep. Come on. Because that was the greatest thrill I was going to get while I was there. You may look at me that way. Praise God. But let me tell you, when that church is dead, and Jesus ain't there. It's like just going around a fellowship of people. Jesus makes a difference. Hallelujah. I said the real Jesus, the real Holy. Hallelujah. Amen. The God, hallelujah, amen, of this chapter, hallelujah, told them, amen, plainly, that he was the Father. He was the Creator. He was the one that could speak at Lazarus' tomb, hallelujah, and say, I am the resurrection and the life, hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you, Jesus Christ isn't just a man. He is, hallelujah, the greatest thing that has ever happened to me or ever will happen to me. Come on, sir. Amen. Praise God. But we need to understand, hallelujah, that God stated that there was a veil upon the nation. There was a covering over people's eyes so that they could not see it. Amen. In the tabernacle plan, amen, hallelujah, when you see the tabernacle plan, amen, you see that there's an altar. And then you see, even though that God is invisible, there's a veil. Come on. Come on. And then, hallelujah, after you got past that veil, there was another veil. And there was an invisible God behind that thing. You know why? Because amen, he was saying, nobody's going to see me until I reveal my come up. When I was praying in this very altar, I started thanking God. Hallelujah. And then when God manifest, when the invisible became visible, that was the greatest thing. Hallelujah. That this world and humanity could ever. Somebody needs to, this will save you. This will keep you. You want to know why I'm in the church 36 years later? I know who Jesus is. I know that God can't lie. I know that he's the same yesterday. The God of Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The one that holds lightning in his fish, that measures out the waters in the palms of his hands. The one that can measure out the Atlantic measured us some living water one day. Come on, somebody. You got Amen. Veil after veil. Amen. And nobody in Israel could see him. He was hiding himself. And he was looking for somebody. Hallelujah. For him to come out of hiding. Come on. That's good. Amen. Amen. He was looking for somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. That said, oh God, like Job. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. Come on now. You show me a sinner. I don't care if they're on the hood of their car drinking a beer. If they're saying, God, if you're out there, help me. I'm here to tell you, God will reveal himself. Come on. He'll find that kind of person. Come on. That's somebody that just wants a little bit of Jesus. Come on. You'll never really know Jesus until you sell out to him. You're never going to really know Jesus until he reveals himself in his 
son of sin. I can't do that for me. Come on. Only God can give revelation. Amen. Jesus asked the question to his disciples. He said, Who do men say that I am? The Son of Man in. Man, all of a sudden, this one starts saying, Hallelujah. Some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some say that thou art Elias. Some say thou art Jeremiah. But Jesus said, Who do you say that I, the Son of Man, am? And if you wonder why Peter got the keys to the church. I say if you're wondering, don't wonder anymore. Because this rock is Jesus. And the rock that this church is built on is the revelation of who Jesus is. That's why you need baptized in Jesus' name. Because that is the rock of this church. And Peter says, hey, I know. He said, how is the Christ? The son of the living. And you know what Jesus said? He said, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjon. Daughter. He said, Because flesh and blood hath not. And let me say this cannot reveal it to you. God has got to show you, Peter. And before he gives you keys to open up doors, come on. If you want to see the prayer room open, hallelujah, you got to know the power of the name of Jesus. If you want to see bodies heal, you got to know who Jesus is. Come on, somebody. He's a God that hides himself. And he said, in this mountain, I'm going to destroy that veil that's covered. Hallelujah. Amen. When people are blinded. This is why Jesus said that except a man be born of the water and the spirit, he cannot see him. He cannot see the kingdom. Can I tell you, amen, hallelujah, when God visits your soul, hallelujah, and he draws you to repentance, you know who you're asking forgiveness from? You say, God, I'm telling you, hallelujah, you're asking Jesus because he's the one that bore your sins and my sin. It was God himself, hallelujah, because he is creator and he is savior. Hallelujah. But flesh and blood did not reveal it in the world. Hallelujah. But God, who's saying, Hallelujah, the Spirit revealed it unto you, Peter. Come on. One of the greatest moments in my life was when I was reading my Bible and Jesus looked at them out of this same book. Hallelujah. Amen. In the ninth chapter, and he said, Before Abraham was, I am. I can't explain it. Other people that have had revelation, of, amen, come directly from the Lord. You know what I'm talking about. Amen. It leaped off the pages. And I realized from that moment forward, hallelujah, this was the great I am. This was the one that fed them in the wilderness. This was that rock. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It was a turning point. Come on. Because when you get born of the water, and the Spirit, hallelujah, he removes the scales from your eyes. Come on, yes, come on. I'm going to say this, and I, I want this to be received by everybody. He circumcises the heart. Because hearts through sin become hardened. God has got to tenderize. That spirit. That's why some people can sit their stone face while God's moving and never feel anything. And that's why some people, hallelujah, amen, that are hungry, I realize I need God. Just to, come on. I'm telling you, when God moves, hallelujah, in his own beautiful, sovereign way, all it takes is a brush. Open your eyelids for tears to flow. I want to tell you what the Holy Ghost told me. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to receive this. I want you, I want to help you tonight. Hallelujah. There are too many dry eyes in Pentecost. 
There are too many stone faces in come on somebody. Hallelujah. When God himself is there and we act like it's no big deal. We act like, oh, he'll come again. What a privilege. Oh, God. To feel him one time. Hallelujah. Can I tell you as a sinner, let me tell you, amen, from a sinner's standpoint, when I come to the house of God, thank God there were people praying, there were people fasting, and there were people worshiping. Because if it wasn't exciting, I didn't make up my mind. I just said, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna come out here and check this out. Hallelujah. The big green ended in the atmosphere. Amen. What was the norm to them was supernatural to me. Hallelujah. What was the norm to some people was my God, I've never felt like I've never felt this in my life. Hallelujah. I said, my God, hallelujah. This is the I'm not boasting on myself, but I've been in the ring with some tough things. I mean, some bad things that couldn't make me cry. Right. But Jesus got a hold of this sinner's heart and he squeezed it. And those tears come out. And I go, but I didn't beg him to stop. Come on. You know what we need to do? We need to go back there again. I said, we need to go back there again. Go and take them. Let me cry. Come on. You know why women live longer than men? Because they cry easier. They vent themselves forth. And a sky is your Spiritual hopes. Come on, come on. Stupid. That's right. That's true. Pardon me, Brother David. I have it. He gave me some words to use. Insensitive. Come on. Men don't do that. Right. I'm telling you, Jesus was a man of strong crying and tears. Hallelujah. Amen. He looked at the church and he said, You say you're rich and increase with goods. And have need of nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, but I say that you're poor. Come on. You're blind. You're naked. You're wretched. And you're miserable. Hallelujah. What sticks out to me there the most, hallelujah, is blindness. Because if we can open your eyes, you can see that you need him. Hallelujah. And one thing he offered to the church, he said, I'm offering you eye solve so that you can see. Hallelujah. You can see he's still as good as he's always been. He's still a savior. He's still a merciful God. He's still a God that answers prayer. Come on, somebody. Because one day, hallelujah, on the cross, hallelujah, he said, they may not know who I am. Even the centurion is the only one that said, my bitch is the son of God. And the bill was lit. And he said, now I'm going to start revealing myself to people. Hallelujah. The God of Genesis is the God of Exodus. Hallelujah. Amen. The God of Genesis that showed that there was one ark. There was one way to be saved. There was one door. There was one plan. Had a greater plan. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In Exodus, he showed there's one tabernacle. That's going to break. It was the only approach of humanity and God to man. Hallelujah. There was only one door. There was only one altar. Come on. We talk about one God. He will be sure the Lord our God is one man. And the Jews, even though they had all of these signs, amen, they didn't know. Amen. And they refused until he told them plainly, Hallelujah, I am. Hallelujah, the Father. I am come in my Father's name. Now we hear Jesus name so much. But Jesus means Jehovah has become my Savior. How much more plain 
does it can't. Come on, church. Amen. Come on. But how many know people that see that, but they can't see that? Come on now. I said they see it, but they can't see it. And and you almost want to take them and say, look at this. Come on, can't you? Say, no, they can't see it until God reveals it. That's why blessed are your eyes, for they see it. And your ears for they hear. For many what? Come on, somebody. Not everybody sees this. Not everybody is feeling what we feel on Sunday night. I'm convinced if we can get people to feel what we have felt in our worship service, in our prayer, come on, they would say, My church ain't like this. I've never felt it. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. I could preach a long time. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm closing here. Amen. Hallelujah. God. Amen. Said that no man knows who the Father is. Come on. But the Son. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is God fleshed out. Come on. He's the big cheese. He's the queso grande. Amen. And the wrapper, the cheese coming. But they couldn't see God because, amen, he was just an ordinary man. I don't believe that he had some physical attributes that said, man, that's God. My Bible prophesied there's no beauty that we should desire. He wasn't, come on. He probably had brown hair, brown eyes, the stature of a, a little but no friend when he spake. Woo! I said, when he spake. And he said, throw your net on that side. I'd like to have a fish finder like that on my door. And we need a fish finder like that in this church. Because God knows where the fish are. God knows who's going to be. How to leave the rapture ready at this. Come on, somebody. And that's why Peter, amen, he looked at him and he said, Depart from me, Lord. I'm a sinful man. But that's who God came to speak. Come on. That's who God came to reveal himself to. Amen. Not the wise and the prudent. Not the scholar. Hallelujah. That tried to impress you with the world. But somebody, hallelujah, that had a hunger like David. Amen. A hunger like Job. I've got to find him. I look over here. Amen. And I can't. But he knows the way that I take. And when God manifests himself in the flesh, it was the greatest favor. Hallelujah. Because now the image of the invisible God was among us. Hallelujah. And can I tell you this? Jesus isn't dead. He's alive in the church today. He has filled the hearts of people. Hallelujah. I said he's filling people with the Holy Ghost. And how do you know they got the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Is that they begin to speak with tongues as the Spirit gives them utterance. To whom he said, this is the rest. He said, come unto me and I will fulfill that prophecy of Isaiah. I will give you rest. I'll help you carry your burdens. I feel the Holy Ghost here. Amen. If someone would believe this pastor, amen, hallelujah, the highest revelation is knowing Jesus, hallelujah, God's final revelation to this world is Jesus Christ and through the church, hallelujah, amen, we need to have enough Jesus on the inside of us so that when people meet us, hallelujah, if they're, amen, we're the only God they might ever come on. Come on, somebody. They don't need religion. They need somebody that knows who Jesus is. They need someone that knows who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And that was Paul's cry that I might know him. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And one of his greatest missions was to make all men see what the fellowship of this mystery was, which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God. But I say hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you stand with me. Hallelujah. Beyond the veil, he was hidden. Only one man could go in there, but not without blood. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe there is in this place a hunger and a thirst inside of people's hearts that want to see God. Hallelujah. Does anybody want to see God? Anybody really want to see God? You know what's going to happen? Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to see him, as I said, as he is. We're going to see the Jesus of Revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And he's not going to be a little man on a throne somewhere. Hallelujah. We're talking about a God that's so big. It says that the heaven and earth fled from the face of this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And to think that that God would come and open our eyes. That God, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, would allow us to know the true God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. He's in this place tonight. I said Jesus is in the, you know how I know because I, I, hope I have Jesus. Somebody will say, I know he's here because I've got Jesus on the end. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Amen. I was thinking if I prophesy, I said, oh, God. Amen. You never talk to me. I felt you. I felt it drawn. Amen. But I could only get so close because, amen, I needed blood to enter into the holy place. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to now to enter into the holiness. That's talking about the, the holiness. Amen. By the blood of Jesus. Like no other people. Hallelujah. Our greatest privilege is not just to come to church, but we're coming into the holiness of holies. Hallelujah. We are far off. Hallelujah. God didn't talk to us with that. No. Hallelujah. But God drew us. He washed us. Hallelujah. He had mercy on us. He filled us with His Holy Ghost. And He, as Paul said, He revealed His Son. He revealed, hallelujah. He revealed who He was. Hallelujah. Praise God. Anybody here that what the Spirit said to the church? Anybody have a hunger and a thirst? Hallelujah. Jesus said, hey, this is going to be hid for the wise and the prudent. It doesn't matter if you go to four years of college, God's looking for the hungry. He's looking for a sunburned fisherman. Hallelujah. Let us say, I'll follow you. Hallelujah. I'm hungry for this. I desire this. The world is making me empty. The world is making me disillusioned. But well, open this altar tonight. God can open your eyes. He can destroy the veil. He is the strength, hallelujah, of the needy. He is the strength of the poor. Hallelujah. The poor in spirit, because they are the ones, hallelujah, that realize, hallelujah, I'm poor in the heart. Hallelujah. I need the riches of revelation. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the greatest riches that we have are the spiritual riches and the revelation of who Jesus is. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you get the Holy Ghost, the Bible will begin to page by page unveil who Jesus really is. Hallelujah. I contend that this is critical. I contend that this is eternal. That this is one of the most important things that happens to the human soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. It makes a difference in somebody. Hallelujah. That realizes that's God. That God will be that night. 
I remember that. And his name is Jesus. And you start using that name in prayer. And it works. And God starts hearing you. Because you told him to listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, come. Lay down your prayer. I'll give you rest. 